Welcome to another episode of A Glass with Billy. I have with me a special guest again. Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> you might uh, recognize him from the last time where we were doing archery and uh, we also talked about the pros and cons of taking the Topic Test Cape. Hold on one second. I really want to try this. So the drink we have is... It's Tiger Sugar. Okay. No, not a uh, advertisement. Not an advertisement. <laughs> okay. Well, now it is. Mm. It's really chewy, right? That's nice. Yeah, it's just like um, bubble tea. Yeah, it's called or just okay. boba, whichever. Boba. And now it's like raining. Yeah. What's going on? I should have listened to my mother-in-law. She told me it was gonna it was gonna rain today, and I'm like, yo, it's not gonna rain. Walk outside without my umbrella. Okay. So what are we gonna be talking about today? While learning Korean, you you adapt like a new personality. I agree. I think when learning any new language, right, you definitely have to take in the that language's culture, and you just pick up on like what native speakers do, like their little mannerisms and stuff like that. And it also can affect your English in sometimes, I guess, maybe negative ways or comical ways? Maybe positive ways too. Maybe positive <laughs> ways. That's what we're going to be talking about today. How does speaking Korean or even just learning Korean affect the way that you speak English? Now, uh, before you watch this, I'm actually curious, what are things that are on your mind, things that you do differently or say differently because of studying Korean? Please let me know in the comments. I'm eager to read what your experiences are like as well. And for this video, we're going to be sharing our experiences. So um, yeah, before we start, um, I just wanted to bring up a point that, you know, Korean and English can't be translated one-to-one -one all the time. Like, when we're learning Korean, um, our English affects our Korean all the time, right? Because we're thinking in English a lot more while trying to speak Korean. So then, the higher your Korean level becomes, the more your English is affected then, right? You probably don't even notice um, a lot of these things. I, even when we were talking about this video, mm, we are like, yeah. what do we say that's weird? Yeah, like, we had to think about it for a while. <laughs> and I'm sure there's plenty of different things that we say that are weird that we just didn't, we don't really notice unless someone else points it out to us, mm -hmm. um, which has happened to, I think, both of us like many times yeah. before. Yeah, speaking English and we realized, wait, did I, did I just really say that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, why did I say that? <laughs> so then what would be like one of the first things that comes to your mind when you think of English that you do differently because you've learned Korean? So I guess the first thing I think of is saying, I always say nowadays before learning Korean, I definitely wouldn't say nowadays. Like nowadays. Maybe, maybe every now and then, uh -huh. but like- I, I mean, it, it is English. It is English, but... it's a thing. It's not totally awkward or anything, but it it's definitely less common compared mm -hmm. to like recently or lately. And I even remember when I was trying to look up the word recently in Korean, uh. like when <laughs> learning, like yojim doesn't even come up. It's like chegane, and then my Korean friends would be like, "Oh, actually, we don't even say chegane like that much." It's more of like a formal yeah, term, formal, I guess. Yeah, the formal. Yeah, it's like the fancy yojim, uh -huh. right? I guess because of I started using yojim more, mm -hmm. I started saying nowadays more <laughs> in English. Yeah, or these days. <laughs> these, I days. Say these days. I say these of, days a lot yeah. as well. Yeah. I'm like these days. I'm really busy. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like <laughs> another thing about that is that um, maybe sentence structure as well is something that. Uh, we kind of swap a lot. I mean, both languages are able to switch up the position of certain words right. and, and things like that. I think Korean is technically more flexible in that case. Uh -huh. Typically, the time will go toward the beginning of a sentence. Right. Oh, it doesn't have to. It usually it will yeah, go at usually, the beginning. Yeah, usually. Like in yeah. a standard Korean sentence, like the time will go in the beginning. Right. Very beginning uh, or like yeah. right after the, uh, the, the 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 whoever's doing something. Right. But then in English, we usually put it like at the end. Of right. The like I'm gonna go meet you. I'll meet you tomorrow. Yeah. So I think yeah. things like that sometimes. I definitely switched stuff um, up like that. The other thing I wanted to, to mention, I guess not related to that, but uh, something I do all the time, maybe you do this too, is uh, just a simple phrase is, in Korean, you say, yager bokta, if you're taking medicine. Well, in Korean, it's eat medicine. I have a few times used in English, oh, I haven't eaten any medicine yet, so yeah, I have a headache. Yeah, I've definitely done the same thing. I was or like, like you yeah. did, did you eat your medicine? Yeah. Like, you didn't eat your medicine? <laughs> yeah, there, there are a lot of little things, so I also wanted to highlight a few small expressions, and then we're gonna talk about some more larger things that we do as well. Uh, the next one is using tai. So. I am also an English major, <laughs> so I actually used to say good all the time. Right, are you doing good? Yeah. I did good on the test. But after a while, especially after taking like higher level like English classes in high school and stuff mm -hmm. like that, I was like, oh, I should be more grammatical. You should correct. use well, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, so I definitely use well more often. Okay. I guess sometimes good will slip out uh -huh. every now and then, but I think Korean actually helped me. So I think this is like a positive aspect. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, because like, if I think of that, it's always 
in my head as well. Like okay. it's not as like good. So it's giving you more accurate English you're yeah. supposed to use well. Yeah. What about then if someone asks you, how'd you sleep? How would you say tired hot soil? Would you actually say I slept well? I guess I wouldn't even say well at mm -hmm. all. I would say like, oh, I slept fine. Slept fine, that's yeah. true. But I guess if I were to say like, I didn't sleep that well. That's true, then you, then have, then would, you have to use yeah. well. It sounds really good yeah. there. So in that case, I would use well, okay. for sure, 100%. But <laughs> <laughs> Another word I started using, this isn't even American English, but the word proper. Proper? Which is more like, yeah. they use it more in like British English, yeah. I guess, like, yeah. or it's like a proper meal. But I keep thinking of the word tedero or tedero den, uh, something like yeah, tedero den, a proper something. Yeah. I feel like I'm speaking fancy when I say Ooh. that word. Let us know what you think, yeah. if that sounds awkward to you or not. <laughs> yeah. And then there are two more small expressions uh, I wanted to bring up. I'm sure there are a lot more, but uh, the expressions night view yeah. and time goes fast yeah. or time is fast, time something like that. Like Instead of like time flies or something, right, right. like time, time is, is fast. fast. <laughs> it's like yeah. sounds so anticlimactic. <laughs> wow, time is fast. Yeah. You're like I guess, yeah. But <laughs> okay. it's a really common phrase. 시간이 빨리 가다. Yeah. So <laughs> time goes really fast. But in English, yeah, we wouldn't really say that. I guess it would be time flies. Or time goes by really fast. Time goes by really fast. Yeah. It's kind of similar. <laughs> uh, kind of. Okay, then what about what about night view? Okay. <laughs> like, night? I was thinking yeah. about this one, and Koreans use the word, yagyeong. Yeah. Like. The view is like, um, or what? What is it? I forgot. Um, <laughs> it's the like, view is nice at night. Okay, okay. The view. So yeah. like, you go somewhere and it's really pretty when it's nighttime. Yeah. Like the guess... view at night is really nice here. When I first started learning Korean, I had a lot of Korean friends come to Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, my friends would be like, "Oh, like, like, where somewhere where it has a good night view." I was actually really confused by this. <laughs> they explained it to me, and I was like, "Oh, you mean like." The view at night, like uh -huh. it's it's nice, like or where is a nice place to go at night where you can see the city or see yeah, something like, the like skyline that. or the yeah, yeah. whatever. I guess like I tend to say night view um, more often nowadays. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to stop myself from saying nowadays, but just <laughs> it just comes out. <laughs> You should eat more medicine. Yeah, you should eat more medicine. <laughs> a couple more things then. Uh, one of them would be the word chata in Korean, which can translate either as to find or to look for. Sometimes I'll find myself saying in English, like, I'm finding it right now, or I'm finding my phone. Whereas, yeah. like, it makes... I'm looking for it. Right, it should be, I'm looking... But in Korean, it's the same thing. You say, 핸드폰 찾고 있어요. Yeah. You know, I'm looking for it. Or, 찾았어요. I found it. But if you're, like, offering, like, help or something and you're just like, oh, like, I'll help you find it mm -hmm. um, or I'll help you look for it, then all are fine. That's true, yeah. So <laughs> another thing that we often see a lot of non-native Korean speakers okay. um, say is uh, saying like combo or set, right? right. And um, usually in Korean we say set when you go to like McDonald's or, yeah. or, or any fast food sort of uh, place. I had a friend who was asking me to help do a uh, English speaking role play with him. So I was pretending to be a cashier mm -hmm. and I was asking what he'd like to order and he said, oh, let me get the, the hamburger. And I was like, oh, you know, that'll be the, the set number three. Then he asked me, he's like, set two? Don't they, like, isn't that <laughs> Korean? Yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've definitely said set before. I'll like, I'll, ha I'll have like set number one or something. Yeah. And then they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've talked about a lot of phrases, but uh, now let's talk about some more general things that people do, I guess, uh, starting with some grammar. The grammar form, kayo, like kayo, kayo, yeah. would in English translate as, like? Like, shall. Yeah, <laughs> shall we, or something, shall, shall I. Oh. Um, so I would start saying shall. I definitely do this as well. <laughs> shall we go? Yeah. You know, st like, shall we dance? Yeah. It's like... But I definitely say this. I do too, I say it all um, the time. Cause like, even for me in English, like I'm actually not super formal mm -hmm. when I speak, but shall is definitely one that I use, I think often. Uh, like being in a restaurant and I'm just talking with my family and you know, I figure everyone's getting hungry. I'll say, oh, all right. So then uh, shall we order? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I definitely say I'm like, that. Like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's, it's, it's not wrong. Like but, instead of like should, like should we order? Yeah, I think should. Or like, or, should we go? Also, should, like, we, shall go? we go? Or even I think sometimes wanna. Like you wanna, yeah, like you wanna, you wanna go, go, wanna order yeah. now. Um, but child doesn't sound super weird. I think that's why it's so common that it affects people who are learning Korean is because it doesn't sound so wrong in yeah. English. You just kind of accept it. Yeah. You're like, oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's not, like it makes sense. Besides like this grammar aspect, I think like something that happens really often mm -hmm. is that we do this thing called code switching. Code switching is used by people that are, you know, pretty proficient 
in two or more different languages. Mm -hmm. And it's basically, you're speaking one language, but then in that language, um, there's no really good word. You know, sometimes even if there's like a pure Korean word, for example, right? Okay. It doesn't give you the same feeling, mm -hmm. right? If you're talking about stress in Korean, okay. there's really no word for, for uh, stress. And we're not just talking about Konglish words here, because there are a lot of Konglish words that actually have completely different meanings yeah. than where they These came are from. Just loan words. Yeah, actually just straight loan words yeah. that have mostly the same meaning. Like yeah. stress, stress yeah. is stress, stress in English. Yeah. It's not a different and meaning. The meaning is, the usage is the same. I guess a common example of this could be the word uh, pest food. Yeah. So fast food, you can say in Korean, I guess, yeah. but it's more, it doesn't mean fast food. Fast food no, more specifically means like, you know, things like McDonald's or yeah. Burger King, stuff like that. Or in these cases, right? Uh -huh. Like you just have no choice. And it's the best word you can use yeah. and it conveys what you want. And the thing is, is that this is okay. We've met many learners that feel they need to find like a pure Korean word, but a lot of times it's actually less natural to try and do so. That's true, yeah. <laughs> if you're trying to specifically avoid loan words because you feel like, oh, I don't want to say this word, it's going to make me sound, you know, I'm going to sound really weird if I use the, the loan word. I want to use the actual, the Korean word. So instead of saying cafe for cafe, I'm going to say the Korean word, tabang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're already laughing because you know exactly what that implies. Uh, that is not a cafe. So you can't avoid using these sorts of words because the other word you might try to choose, which might be more pure, I guess, it's going, not going to convey the same thing you wanted to yeah. say. I guess an example is like, if you think of the word like mokbang, right? Mokbang, okay. Like, you wouldn't say like a food eating video. Yeah. Or, like, <laughs> like, or even just like Korean food names, right? Like, Chon is Korean pancakes yeah. or something like that. Um, you just use the Korean word, right? Yeah. Like my Korean friends that speak really good English, mm -hmm. sometimes we'll just mix in Korean words mm -hmm. like as we're speaking in English, like kuchana. <laughs> or, or like all the time it's like like you can't just say like oh i can't be bothered yeah or, like, oh, I'm, I'm i do lazy. not want to deal with that yeah it's like, ah, like it's just like it's, like, it's like ah because it has it conveys that really well that feeling yeah that really feeling fast. you just really grasp the whole concept of just being lazy and just not willing to do something another thing is like when i'm speaking with other people who i know speak korean is i'll use the word nunchi a lot oh, i'll yeah. just yeah oh that person's got no, no nunchi. Nunchi, right? like i could say oh they don't have very good so social awareness yeah. but yeah again like this happens when you're definitely at a much higher level like mid high intermediate okay or so. you'd have to already be able to speak yeah anyway in korean but you're at the point where it's easier to pull that korean word than it is to say the english word right, right. like sometimes even it'll just slip out mm -hmm. like you're just speaking in english but then like the english word doesn't come to you mm -hmm. but the korean word does <laughs> <laughs> so like you just say the korean word um that's happened to me tons of times uh -huh. like one time i was like Pionada. What's pionada? <laughs> I was trying to think of the word convenient, but it just didn't come to mind. So uh -huh. I was like, I was like, <laughs> to my mom on the phone, like while speaking, and she's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Code switching happens all the time. It's really useful as well. If you just can't think of a word, the person you're talking to might not always understand. Uh -huh. That's, uh, you have to keep in mind who you're talking yeah. with. But. but it's still something you should definitely take advantage of. It'll definitely help you kind of get along um, further in conversation, right? Don't be too focused on just going for like the pure yeah. Korean. Because a lot of times we'll be Pure less. awkward. <laughs> yeah, pure <laughs> awkward. <laughs> it is getting dark, it is getting cold, so I think we'll stop here. Uh, these are just some of the ways though how uh, speaking Korean has influenced our English. Let us know though in the comments again what things has Korean affected in your English speaking or whatever your native language is. If it's not English, let me know. Do read all of those. Thank you for watching. Again, this has been Forest. <laughs> <laughs> Forest. Forest. <laughs> and we will see you again next time. Kram, Tamitoba.